हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ अनंदिता झा एंड आई वेलकम यू टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ डॉक्टर अमित्स बायो केमिस्ट्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडीज सो दिस वीडियो विल बी टोटली कन्फाइंड टूवर्ड्स वाट द मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडीज आर एंड हाउ दे आर बींग प्रोड्यूस्ड ओके इन द लेबोरेटरीज so first of all uh, we will be talking about monoclonal antibodies when it comes towards uh, uh, when it comes to monoclonal antibody so uh, what does clone mean in biology in terms of biology clone means similar okay the similar cells okay or similar kind of structure okay the structure may be the proteinaceous structure okay or cells or any entity right so these things which seems structurally and functionally similar okay they are considered as clones clear now mono mono means one simply one okay as we know di or bi means two tri means three dot 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 we have poly poly means many right so when the term comes mono it means one okay one type of clone means there are many clones but of same type only one type okay uh, when the term comes uh, polyclonal antibody there are uh, uh, polyclonal antibodies also present so polyclone means they there are clones antibodies which are of different types okay the clones of different types of antibodies are present but here only similar kind of uh, clones of a particular antibody is present okay uh, now coming towards the <clears throat> definition of monoclonal antibody so what the monoclonal antibody is so they are the similar kind of protein weapons okay the protein weapons which is acting against the similar element or the same element okay so you see in my previous videos you might have come across the definition of antibodies in the uh, very first or second lecture uh, the couple of videos are there in the for the uh, introduction of immunology i think so you can find the definition of antibodies okay so what the antibodies are actually so they are nothing but the protein weapons which is produced by different various cells of immune system who is acting in order to protect the body so i have considered the body as a country where the immune cells are defense uh, staffs or defense uh, uh, corps you can say who are fighting against uh, the uh, the antibody sorry antigen which is uh, coming as invaders in order to harm the body right or or the country which is uh, the body which is considered as country here right and so it is useful in several elements this monoclonal antibody can be useful to treat several elements like cancer it can also act as anti toxin in case of snake bite bee bite spider bite etc right so see here monoclonal antibodies you can see the diagrammatic representation here this is the antigen for suppose this is the antigen and these you can see these are the antibodies which is uh, no doubt looking similar so these are the monoclonal antibodies okay so we have seen the use of monoclonal antibody what actually the antibody uh, monoclonal antibodies are now we will see how these monoclonal antibodies are produced these days in the laboratory okay so these are produced by a technique known as hybridoma technology okay now we will uh, try to uh, understand what the hybridoma technology is actually so now first of all we will see how the antibodies of similar kind is produced in the body for suppose an antigen enters the body okay for suppose we do have any kind of antigen let me change the color for suppose this is the uh, human body okay consider it as human body <laughs> for suppose some kind of element enters okay uh, who is the antigen some antigen enters the human body 
now in the human uh, spleen b cell get activated okay through a number of n number of processes as first t uh, antigen presenting cell will present the cell to t cell and t cell indeed activate the b cell in order to form plasma cell okay plasma cell and these plasma cell will produce antibodies okay for suppose there is only single kind of antigen which requires same kind of antibodies so same kind of antibodies will be produced that will be monoclonal antibody that's it now see in the laboratory how we will produce as the plasma cells are having very short life span very short okay the life span is too short okay so due to too short life span we cannot bear this risk that we will uh, we will uh, waste a lot of resource and make uh, this uh, plasma cell and uh, they, then it will produce uh, sorry we will produce the plasma cell by activating the b cell and they will be producing the antibody okay and the antibody will also not, not live long right so in this case what, what we will do is what we will be using hybridoma technology what actually the hybridoma technology is so here we will inject an antigen for which we want antibody okay for suppose antigen type a is there and we want antibody so we will, we want anti a antibody okay so how we will produce we will inject in the lab animal it can be mice or anything now in its uh, spleen we will produce uh, this b cells uh, b cells will be will get activated in the spleen area and this this b cells are just uh, extracted from this uh, lab animal and it will be fused with myeloma cell myeloma cell having a long life span as as it is a cancerous cell so in the peg media we will fuse it peg is polyethylene glycol so in this media we will have five, uh, we will fuse this two cells myeloma cells and b cell which is plasma cell okay now after fusion we will get five type of cell okay we will have five type of cell first is unfused plasma okay the plasma which is not fused then we have unfused myeloma the myeloma which is not fused okay then we have fused plasma two plasma cell which got fused similarly we will have fused myeloma okay and the fifth type will be hybridoma which is the mixture of plasma cell as well as myeloma cell okay now what we will do we will keep this hybridoma cell and produce the monoclonal antibody now the question of the r is how we will uh, recognize that these in the bundle of or a bunch of cells that these are the uh, hybridoma cell which is going to produce monoclonal antibodies and they will have long life span etc etc for this what we will do is uh, this is uh, for suppose the lab animal we have uh, this uh, b cells which is produced in the spleen and here we will fuse the fusion will occur in peg remember this this can be the question you may be asked for your pg entrance examination that uh, in which media it is fused so it is fused in polyethylene glycol media then we will select the hybridoma from the five kinds of cell we have to select one that is hybridoma how we will do that so for that we will use hat media okay ab now see what the hat media is okay hat media <laughs> it seems like hat we have see hat media is nothing but hypoxanthine aminopterin and thymidine okay these three things are there in the hat media so in this hat media we do have aminopterin okay aminopterin is present this aminopterin is an enzyme which used to block the de novo synthesis of of the cell uh, nucleotide of nucleotides or dna how the cell divides from suppose one cell is there they'll form two cell how how they'll divide they'll divide by simply dna replication first the dna will replicate then we will have two cells okay then cell will divide Nucle first nucleus will divide then cell will divide for the nucleus to be divided it needs 
are DNA to be divided, okay, the genetic material to be divided. And genetic material is what? They are nucleotides. So for nucleotide synthesis, there are two pathways. One is salvage, okay, and the second is de novo, okay. De novo is something like from the from new nucleotides. We have to make the new. Uh, from uh, new manufactured nucleotides, we are going to make the bundle of nucleotides which will form DNA and further it will divide and we will have new uh, nucleus, new DNA strand and new nucleus, new cell, okay. But salvage, how it runs? Salvage works as old nucleotides collects together, right, and it will help to replicate another nucleotides, okay. So what happened? De novo this uh, the newly nucleotides synthesis will be blocked in aminopterin the hat, hat media contains aminopterin which is which is a kind of uh, enzyme that is going to block de novo synthesis of nucleotides okay simple now just listen it as a story now what happened this aminopterin how we, they will block de novo synthesis because for de novo synthesis, we need dehydrofolate reductase. It is an enzyme which is needed for de novo synthesis of nucleotides. So, aminopterin will block dehydroxyfolate reductase. Okay. Now, what happened? De novo will be blocked. Only salvage will work. Okay. And salvage is occurring. Salvage pathway also needs HGPRT. It's an enzyme. Okay. Salvage needs HGPRT that is hypoxanthine guanine phosphorib phosphoribosyl transferase. Okay, hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase. This is needed and this is only present in plasma cell. Okay, so we have uh, like plasma cell only have HGPRT. Okay, so we have one point that plasma cell will be selected. Okay, now we we know that we have five kinds of cell fused plasma fused myeloma unfused plasma unfused myeloma and hybridoma okay so few unfused uh, myeloma will be cancelled fused myeloma will also be cancelled because only salvage pathway is to be selected and de novo will not be selected and de novo is occurring in cancerous cell and this is salvage is occurring in uh, this our plasma cell now we have two cells left, this uh, three cells, unfused plasma, fused plasma and hybridoma. Now see this fused plasma and unfused plasma, both have two short lifespan. So they will degrade after or they will degenerate after a few weeks or two weeks. Two weeks is an ideal time. Okay, after two weeks, they'll degenerate. At last, what will be left is hybridoma. So now we have a hybridoma cell which is a fusion of plasma cell as well as myeloma cell. Myeloma cell having long lifespan, plasma cell producing monoclonal antibody for a particular antigen. So by this way, we can produce a monoclonal antibody, which is a helpful tool towards mankind. So this was all about uh, hybridoma technology and what are the monoclonal antibodies. I think the video is very short and concise and you Hope you have got the concept clear. Uh, thank you so much.